Good morning, folks. We've got a look at cosmology, the magnetism of the pillars of creation, earthquake science, Van Allen particle acceleration, and here, our star. Gorgeous filament and coronal cavity incoming there. Now over at spaceweathernews.com, we find a mostly calm day, especially in the central bright active region, or inactive region to be factually accurate. A couple pops do take place at the limbs on the north. One goes right and one left. Back to that momentarily as we first see the solar wind calming from an already puny glancing impact of a coronal hole stream, never got intense, and the geomagnetic conditions never really budged. The solar flaring is not at all indicative of how many sunspots we've actually had on our star. Indeed, the only eruptive activity to be seen are those two ejections over each northern limb. As you'll see on the C2 coronagraph, the CMEs are puny, barely visible, exiting each side of the sun's northern hemisphere. Earth-facing coronal hole looks like a horse, hopefully not too indicative of the stream coming from it as it will arrive at Earth by Friday night. Earth has already magnetically connected to it. We're going to the Earth Observatory catching Sabankaya erupting yesterday afternoon. For reference, small eruptions like this still dwarf the plumes coming off Hawaii, which did also take another eruption yesterday. Let's jump now to space and we're looking at a nebula known famously as the Pillars of Creation. Now, for the first time, the magnetic fields of the pillars have been analyzed and they are pillar aligned, perpendicular and decoupled from the photoionized cloud to which they are connected below in this image, and they say the magnetism not only rides the pillars but helps to sustain them over astronomical time. And there's the green flag, they're off. Got a tight race here in the Van Allen 500 particle race. We're on the lovely Van Allen Raceway with a 70,000 mile course here. And oh, it looks like we've got one using a chorus wave of Earth's own system to accelerate. What a break. This one is over. He is not going to catch him. What a display of electromagnetic athleticism. Let's take a look at that in instant replay. We truly did have a tight race going until the chorus wave hit. Circular polarization driving the acceleration and to think that before this race we'd only ever seen external accelerations from things like solar storms. We've got news from Rice indicating that the interface between the lithosphere and mantle can shift faster than the ground above it, triggering seismic activity. For those who know how our earthquake forecasting works, Half the battle is tracking the motion at that interface called the asthenosphere, and today's story is exceptionally encouraging. Let's go to cosmology where we see more of the same. Theorists hypothesizing new dark matter particles like this one, which is dipolar and fermionic, which means it is a normal matter particle, and these hypotheses are necessary due to the continued onslaught of no-shows by the mysterious dark matter. Today, the powerful Xenon-1T reports no detections of dark matter, that's a big boy. Would have found it if it's real. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. Greatly appreciate your support, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 4.35 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.